What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Vanguard anti-cheat error that you may be getting on your Valorant game when you're trying to play. So if you're trying to play the game when you press play, or while you're in the game and you're getting this anti-cheat error, there's a couple of things that you can do to fix this. You want to either X out of here, or go over here and right click into the Riot Vanguard and close this out, and open it back again by either, Riot, either the Riot client or Valorant by pressing run as administrator if this doesn't fix the issue for you one of the other things you can do is you want to right click at the bottom go into task manager and make sure you close out all the possible riot clients that you may be seeing there might be actually a bunch of these here either riot or valorant or whatever they're called and you want to right click into that so let me show you what i mean by that see even this like right click into it and pressing end task now, if trying this doesn't work, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and you want to press run. And you want to write something called <coughs> services.msc and you want to look for something called BGC, right? You'll see it right there. You want to double click into it and on the general page, you want to change startup type into automatic and you want to change service status to start and then you want to let this basically start, get it into the running stage and then press apply, right? If that also does not fix it for you, another thing is it is entirely possible that your Windows Defender is one of the ones causing the issues and you may want to either put Valorant or the Riot Client Shield as an allow an app or feature to be like kind of go through. So if you search for it, like I have Riot uh, thing here and you can see it is, well, kind of selected, right? You want to have both private and public selected and maybe Valorant is here as well. If it's not, you can technically add it and I'll show you what that means. So you want to basically press allow another app and find the path excuse me, put it in here and then just press add. Um, the way you get to the path, and the next step is actually after if you, because you kind of do both simultaneously, is the you want to essentially open up your file explorer and I'll show you what to do. You want to go into this PC, you want to go to your local disk, and you want to, it's your Riot Games is either going to be outside, like mine is, or it's going to be in one of the two program files. You want to go into here, you want to go into the Valorant one, you want to go into live, and you want to find the Valorant.exe. Yours might be called something else, but you want to call, it'll be Valorant something. You want to right click into it, you want to go into properties, you want to go into compatibility, you want to disable full screen optimization, <coughs> and you want to run this program as administrator. You want to press apply, press OK, either restart your computer or just start playing the game, and you should be good to go and not have this issue persist any longer. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy you guys out. If you guys over like this video, please smash that like button. Help out. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to that notification bell. And that moment, y'all. Peace.